For your Facebook Friday story, we take a look at bullying in the workplace. It's a problem lawyers say is more common than most people think. TV6's Dustin Bonk is joining us now to talk more about this situation. Dustin? Steve, bullying in the workplace can cause a toxic work environment, and that can make people miserable and even hurt productivity. Bullying is immoral, but not illegal. That's according to lawyer Steve Pence. When abuse is based on discrimination, like with race, sex, or disability, or a legally protected right like whistleblowing and filing a claim, lawyers say then the law can defend a victim. Pence has defended hundreds of workplace bully victims. I have seen cases where the emotional and physical consequences of bullying are life-changing and sometimes irreparable. A bully humiliating, mocking, or ignoring a coworker can create a hostile work environment, leading to low morale, poor productivity, or sometimes the loss of a loyal or good employee. On Facebook, Gretchen says, my advice to anyone suffering bullying in the workplace is to leave. If it's tolerated, it's not likely to ever get better. Experts say that you should confront a bully. If problems persist, then discuss with human resources, and the bully may be disciplined or fired. Lawyers say many incidents go unreported for fear of consequences from either the bully or management. But Marquette General Hospital's HR department says that problems need to be reported. Employees should not be afraid of reporting uh, issues that they have. Try to work out the issues uh, with the individual, uh, but if that doesn't work, uh, then they certainly should uh, uh, take the next step. Ultimately, they say never ignore the problem. Unfortunately, it is common and it is a problem, but it is something that uh, most employers would attempt to address if it's brought to their attention. Before confronting a bully, experts say to document the incident and get a witness. Having a witness present is also a good idea when confronting the bully initially.